If there is one question I'm asked more than anything else at the moment about airshow screen recordings, it's this. Why does my recording glitch, jump or clip? If you missed that first little demonstration, let me pause the recorder and we'll have a closer look, like now. It's almost as if the screen has copied itself and shifted it slightly to the right so you get this blur effect with two different colours showing exactly the same graphics. It's really weird and of course it's very annoying if you want to do screen recordings. And depending on whether you're playing a game in portrait or landscape, the screen can shift left or right and up and down. I've seen that many times on Minecraft, where at the top of the screen there's lots of glitching and jumping. And if you look here on Clash Royale, the crowns have been sliced in half and are now on both sides of the screen. And as the game gets more intense and the recording lasts longer, then it can get even worse. Clash Royale is not exactly the most taxing of games, but here in the very final seconds of the game, there's glitching all over the place. And the worst thing is you're not going to know about this until the recording is finished because you don't see it on screen, it's only on the video playback. Very annoying if you want to upload top quality videos to YouTube. So how does this happen? Well the only way I can get this problem to occur on my iPad Mini 4 is to turn on Smooth Seeking when I'm doing an air show recording. And Smooth Seeking was designed to enable you to have a better playback after your recordings but ever since iOS 10 it's been an absolute nightmare and it's causing all sorts of problems. So while I can do a recording with Smooth Seeking turned on and I can play it back on my iOS 10 device and then edit it and upload it to YouTube, we get all this glitching. But the other problem is if you turn Smooth Seeking off, you're going back to the old way of doing recordings and this is an even bigger problem for iOS 10 because then you get grey or black screens on your recordings as I will show you in the photo gallery now. This is the Smooth Seeking turned on recording where you can see the thumbnail and this is where Smooth Seeking is turned off and you have no thumbnail and the video won't play back unless you do some fixes which I'm going to show you. Now if you have a confused look on your face and you're wondering where is Smooth Seeking on my air show, that means you have a 32-bit device. Smooth Seeking is only available to 64-bit iOS devices. So if you are running an older device you have to take into account the Airshow is a screen recorder designed to record on games and there's a lot of processing going on in the background so if you're having glitching anyway that could be the reason your device may simply be too old to handle this. The 64-bit and 32-bit iOS devices are listed on screen now and if you don't have Smooth Seeking option it's Smooth Seeking option off by default. So if you want to remove glitching, jumping and clipping from your Airshow screen recordings, my advice is to turn Smooth Seeking off if you have an option within Airshow. If you do decide to do that, then in order to fix the problem of having a black or grey screens when you try and watch these videos, you can download an application called VLC Mobile, which you can then open from directly within the Airshow screen recording, and that will give you the ability to play back the video although you still won't be able to edit it or watch a video in your photo gallery. To fix that problem, what you're going to need to do is convert the video file from an MP4 to an MOV file. And you can do that using a converter called iComV, which is available from the App Store. Now I'm going through these very briefly in this video as a kind of roundup and I have a lot more detailed explanation on how to do that in my dedicated videos and you can click on the links on screen now. Now I appreciate that the advice I'm giving you in this video may not fix your problems for your iOS device, your Airshow screen recordings. Everybody seems to have very different experiences when they try and use screen recorders on Apple devices and that's just the nature of the game unfortunately. What we really need is for the developer to fix all these issues that have cropped up in iOS 10. And I'm sure that will happen at some point in the future, but even I can't get an answer out of him. If you still have questions about iOS screen recording, then pop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, then you really need to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more iOS screen recording content, then Video Gadgets Journal is the place to subscribe to. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.